Welcome, dear listeners, to another episode of Optimal Anesthesia Today. We're not just exploring the intricacies of renal assessments and cirrhosis, we're delving into the vital role of an anesthesiologist in this complex narrative. Buckle up for an enlightening journey through the challenges, pitfalls, and promising paths in understanding kidney function in patients with chronic liver disease, with a special focus on the anesthetic perspective. Let's start with the basics, serum creatinine. You might think it's a straightforward measure of kidney function, but in cirrhosis, it's anything but. Picture this, decreased hepatic synthesis of creatine and cirrhosis-related loss of skeletal muscle leading to inherently lower serum creatinine levels. It's like trying to navigate a maze blindfolded. Hold on a second, there's even more. Enter the estimated glomerular filtration rate, EGFR. Sounds fancy, right? The catch is that when we use common formulas, we're in for a surprise. The serum creatinine roller coaster results in an overestimation of EGFR. It's like having a GPS that insists you're on the right track when lost in the woods. Now, imagine we've got specialized tools to navigate this maze. Cirrhosis-specific estimators of GFR assessment in liver disease have stepped up. They're like the Indiana Jones of GFR estimators, but even they don't have the complete treasure map. However, we are not giving up on our search for improved markers. Cis.nc is like a lantern, it shows you other ways to go where you're going. Research has looked at cis.nc as a potential indicator of acute renal damage or death rather than a cirrhosis-specific GFR estimate. The kidneys are like a crystal ball, you never know what the future holds. Now things start to become intriguing. Can you imagine the potential of combining creatinine and cis.nc? Based on recent research, it seems to be the pinnacle of GFR estimation equations, like combining two superheroes. But wait, there's more to the story. Let's talk about identifying acute renal failure in liver disease. It's like uncovering hidden treasures within the cirrhotic maze. We're not just relying on GFR estimators, we're exploring other parameters. Enter urinary biomarkers, the detectives of the kidney world. Neutrophil gelatinase associated lipocalin, NJL, and kidney injury molecule 1, KIM1, are like Sherlock Holmes and Watson, revealing clues about early signs of acute renal failure. Elevated levels? It's a signal to put on your investigator hat. Now, let's talk about renal blood flow, the lifeblood of kidney health. Imagine Doppler ultrasonography as our high-tech explorer, capturing dynamic images of blood flow. It's like having a front row seat to the circulatory dance within the kidneys. Changes in the rhythm? Early warning signs of trouble. And then there's Feyna, the sodium storyteller. Calculating the fractional excretion of sodium helps us distinguish between prerenal acetemia and intrinsic renal disease. Think of it as the narrator unraveling the plot twists in our cirrhotic saga. How should renal parameters be assessed in liver disease? Now, how do we tie all this together? It's like crafting the perfect potion for renal assessment in liver disease. Picture this, individualized GFR estimators tailored to the unique characteristics of cirrhotic patients. It's like having a bespoke suit for each kidney, accounting for factors like muscle mass and hepatic synthesis function. And let's not forget the integration of biomarkers, NGL, KIM1, and more. It's akin to adding diverse flavors to our renal assessment recipe providing a richer understanding of kidney health. In the dynamic world of liver disease, regular and dynamic monitoring is our compass. Serial assessments allow us to capture evolving trends, ensuring we're not caught off guard by sudden twists in the plot. Last but not least, collaborative care. 
Imagine hepatologists and nephrologists joining forces, each bringing their expertise to the table. It's like assembling a dream team to conquer the challenges of cirrhotic kidneys. Our thrilling journey through the complex renal assessments for cirrhosis has now arrived at its conclusion. As we delve further into the mysteries, be sure to see future episodes of Optimal Anesthesia.